Yeah. What was the best experience you had when you were still raining, Miss Earth? Oh. Was this us already? Oh, raining. Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. was a question raining. from Instagram. Yeah. A question okay, from okay, Instagram. Okay. So that was raining, Miss Earth, not during a contest dance. Yeah. As a as a as a queen, her as a winner, yeah. as a winner yeah. now. And dami siguro, no? <laughs> I know! Pero one thing yung top ng mind ko is really my travels. I love my travels. Sobra! <laughs> ang, ang dami mong napuntahan. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm the most traveled Miss Earth. So dami mm. mong napuntahan. Tapos ang dami ko pang pending countries so, na hindi na napuntahan kasi hindi na kaya yung oh. schedule namin. Mm. So I loved my travels. I see cultures. I see the problems of the environment. First hand, kapag pumunta ako doon, mm. I learned so many things na kaya kong dalhin in the Philippines. And then you would just be amazed that your fans are not just in the Philippines, but you have fans internationally and they would accept you with open arms. So I really, really loved my travels. I became independent. I learned so many things. I grew as a person. And lahat ng winners ng Miss Earth, yun yung nililook forward. You travels mo. <laughs> to be honest, promise. Can you name ano, one country in particular na napuntahan mo na talagang sobrang na-in-love ka no moment na, na, na nagpagpunta mo? I love Belgium, of course. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. At saka my Mexican trip. I loved my Mexican trip. It was amazing. I, I love their food. I love the place. I love the people. And my Belgium. Super top two ko yan. Kasi mm-hmm. ang ganda ng lugar and then you can really see the culture. It's so different from the Philippines. Where in Belgium did you go? Back. Where in Belgium? Um, Brussels. Brussels. Okay. And then we went to Paris after. Kasi malapit lang eh. Oh, malapit lang yan. Uh, One train ride. Yeah. Correct, correct. <laughs> and dami na puntahan ni Karen ah. Yun yung may rate ko lang. Cambodia, Vietnam, Reunion Island, yeah. Singapore, Colombia. Dami. Dami. I'm curious about so, Reunion Island. Stop, stop, yeah. Oh, curious. I love Reunion Island. Actually, Reunion Island is just a small island, but mm-hmm. they are a um, they're a part of France. They're mm-hmm. a colony of France, but they're 12 hours away from France. So malayu sila. It's actually near Africa already. Mm-hmm. Maganda si, si Reunion Island because they're very eco-friendly. So they use a okay. lot of solar panels. They they use mm-hmm. e-cars, and then. Maganda siya kasi very peaceful yung lugar. Hindi siya maingay. Tapos konti lang yung tao. It's very close to nature. Actually, yung mountains, yung city niya, nandito, tapos surrounded by mountains. That's mm. what Reunion Island is. And then I you actually, can go up. Y- yung mga tao sa Reunion Islands, are they like, you know, Africans or Asian looking or Indian looking? Oh no, they're, they're every, yeah, much more on African side sila, but mm. they speak French. They all speak French. Oh. Kasi yung mga Miss Reunion na nakikita ko sa Miss France, usually Asian-looking sila eh. Correct, correct, correct. Yung iba, I think in um, in other countries near there, yeah, meron. I think kasi din masakop sila. Mm. I don't know the whole history, but yeah. It's more on European side yata. And then they have an African blood, and then they mm. speak French. So it's cool. <laughs> Very and one of the, ano, one of the pinaka proud na na sinasabi ng mga Miss Earth fans is yung travel talaga ng mga queens. Kasi yeah. even, even your, even your uh, elemental court also travels from time to time with you during that time, diba? Yeah. So I can share my journey with them. Uh, and uh, bago tayo umalis ng Miss Earth, um, ask ko lang, ano yung best advice na narinig mo from a former Miss Earth na binigay nila sa iyo? Mm. Actually, naalala ko yung sinabi sa akin ni Catherine. Kasi before ako nag-compete, ang sabi niya sa akin, you have to focus on your strength. Because you're good at this. Sabi niya, you're already beautiful, but you have to focus on your Q&A. Because that's where you're really good at. So she wanted me to focus on and maximize on my strength. Because that's what's really going to put me forward. And that's what re- she really told me before I competed. And that's what uh-huh. happened. Alam mo, should really, iba yung... You should really invite Karen in the next, ano... Yeah. Iba, yung, iba yung nakikita kong ganda ni Karen, to be honest. Para siyang si Catherine Bernard. Oh, to be honest, sa screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kawig mo! Kawig mo nga! Thank you! I just said... I, I just, Catherine! I just said we should invite Karen. I mean Catherine. Catherine is been uh-huh. in our, our next... Oh. Ano, para makontinue natin to yung, ano, yung mga... Um, yung, yung Miss Earth tradition. Because I and think this, they have so many things to say. Yeah, before Karen, ah, Catherine was the most uh, traveled. 
and then na-surpass na yung number of travels ni Kat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> ang galing kasi even my travels is like, ang dami kong spots na like, I went to the USA, I went to Paris, so ang dami kong stops in between my travels, which is oh. connect ko siya with Miss Earth, yeah. yeah. What is one most environmentally re- um, related lesson that you learned during your travels when you were going to these different kinds of countries? Aside from culture, you can learn the culture, mm-hmm. you learn the food, but there must be something new that you have learned when it comes to the environment during your travels. Yeah. What was one thing that really stood out? Uh, when I travel, I make sure as much as possible, don't carry single-use plastic with you, honestly. <laughs> Don't bring the single-use plastic of the Philippines to the country that you're gonna go to. Mm. And then, so, huwag <laughs> maganda lang single-use plastic as much as possible. And then, my amazed ka kasi sa ibang countries like Reunion Island. They're so mm. advanced in their technology when it comes mm. to sustainability, mm-hmm. when it comes to renewable energy. And that's one thing I would really want to bring in my country, you know. Mm. I in the in Japan, it's really amazing in Japan. Grabe dyan. I've been there like three times. It's amazing in Japan. <laughs> yeah, as You're much recycling. as possible. The, the recycling, yeah. we always recycle in here. It's really part of, ano, it's really part of our daily lives. You segregate the ano, biodegradable mm-hmm. and non-biodegradable. Sorry. So, Japan, na, I really like yung, ano, yung, sa ilalim ng vendo, mayroong paglalagyan ka ng ano, use pet bottle, yeah. bottle, yeah, bottle, bottle cancer, yeah. and it's also yes, separated. Yes, yes. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yung glasses, correct. Magkakaiba siya. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I think Amir has a question. Okay. Amir, is, Amir is preparing a question, pero nag-freeze si Amir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, ako muna, ako muna. Um, meron, ako, meron isang sure. interview si Karen na tumatak talaga sa akin. That was uh, during uh, Tonight with Boyo Bunda. And then during the yeah. fast talk, during the fast talk, uh, he asked you, a beauty queen should have, and you answered, a good mind. And mm-hmm. I really want to uh, to hear more from you and to expound on that. So why is it important for a beauty queen to have a good mind? It's important for you to have a good mind because when you join a beauty pageant, of course, your bread and butter is your looks, it's your body, because you have to be fit. But then there's always beyond that because nowadays, beauty pageants and beauty queens are really expected for them to learn how to be a spokesperson. If you do not know how to speak your mind, you're not going to give your organization much credibility for what you're really fighting for or what you're really advocating about. Diba? Iba sa Miss Universe, iba sa Miss International, iba sa Miss Earth, iba sa, iba, iba sa Miss World. So you really need to know how to talk. Like, ano mong pinaglalaban nyo? Like, for the environment, for kids, for people's empowerment. So if you don't know how to say that, how can you really be more of, you know, a role model for this kind of area? That's why it's important for you to know how to speak. And I will go back with what I'm doing now, image consultancy. Your appearance is important because that's the first thing that people see. Your behavior is important because nobody wants to work with a person who has bad behavior. But of course, you won't stop there. You need to learn how to speak. Because if you do not know how to communicate, how can you express to them what you want to say about your business or about pageantry? With journalism, how are you supposed to share the message, share the story? You need a way of communicating. So you really need to know how to do that. That's why I really said a beauty queen needs to have a good mind. Very. Thank you. 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 Th